Hey, hey guys, I'm Adam from Close Guitars. Uh, we're at the NAMM 2024 show. It's crazy how time flies. Uh, we've been really busy this past year. Uh, 2023 for us was our busiest launch year ever. Uh, for context, in the first seven and a half years of the company, we launched five models. And in 2023, we launched eight models alone. So uh, we're expanding a lot. Uh, we're building a lot of the products that everyone is requesting and wanting. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna do a little walkthrough of the booth, show you some of the new stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have some questions and you know, comment on, on Mike's video and, and we'll do our best to answer questions. So we've got our 12 string here. It's the very first one we're going to start with. We actually just finished this two days before the show. Um, it's our grand cutaway body with a new neck that's going to be a wider wider nut width for 12 string. Uh, we obviously have a bigger headstock. One thing that we're doing that's unique is we're going to have tuners in the back for six strings and then tuners in the front for six strings. That way you don't really get in the way and knock your, your fingers. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Nico can help you over here. So uh, next, we have our baritone electric guitar. So this is going to be a 27 and a half scale length. Uh, it's our F series neck. So you know, six in a row tuners. Uh, our blackout pickups, and this is our Apollo body. So same body as before, just a different neck. Oh, that's. We haven't yet launched this, so. Both of these are still new, not even on the website, uh, but we'll have updates on that pretty soon. This is our uh, grand cutaway with a wide neck and uh, nylon strings. So this is our widest neck. It's the same neck as the 12 string, but it's just a six string guitar. Uh, 25 and a half inch scaling on these. Uh, next, you know, this is our traditional dreadnought. It's with an anthem pickup. Anthems have become quite popular for us over the last couple of years. It's a standard option on the website. Uh, you know, this is our OG most popular large guitar, uh, but we forecast that the Grand Cutaway and the Grand Cutaway Mini will will soon, you know, step in as leaders. This is our Grand Cutaway Mini in carbon timber. Uh, Mike reviewed this one at the last show. Uh, but this is now the final, the final version. Uh, we're now selling this in real time. Uh, we've built about, I think, 11 of them so far. This features our new headstock, so it's an asymmetrical headstock. It's a little bigger. Uh, you can fit a snark tuner on the top, <laughs> which has been a constant question over the years. Uh, this is going to have stainless steel frets. Uh, this has clear tone strings. This has an anthem in it as well. This basically has every upgrade you could possibly have. It's one of our nicest guitars that we make, and it sounds absolutely beautiful. Mike took, uh, you can't really hear anything at the show here, but uh, Mike's reviewing the Grand Cutaway in the Carpet Tipper, which we'll look at in a second, in one of the quiet rooms. Uh, here we have a Tele body with our F-Series neck. So this is also not yet released, this is new. This is one of our new body colors and, and shapes. So we're really excited about this. The body quality is a step up. The F-Series neck is beautiful. Uh, these are stainless steel frets as well, which everyone is really excited about. All right, here we have our original travel guitar. Nothing's changed with this uh, from years past. This is still our best seller. Carbon fiber and traveling it makes the most sense. So the travel guitar, you know, is kind of our flagship. This is our baritone ukulele. Baritone turned out better than we expected. We had high hopes for it, and, and it kind of met them and exceeded them. It sounds really nice. It's a 20-inch scale length. We have our own tuner and pickup here. Our preamp is, is great. The tone knob has a huge effect on the tone and warmth of the sound. Uh, this also has our new headstock, so it kind of, you know, the asymmetrical look is the same here. And what 
else. So many new things. So this is our tenor, full carbon tenor ukulele. This has not changed since years past. This was the first ukulele that we came out with. It's still our best selling ukulele. Uh, back here you can see our uh, our V version, so we're calling it the flow spectre. Um, we really think it looks really nice with the carbon. It's on our new body shape as well. Uh, this is the nicest guitar we make right now, the Grand Cutaway in Carbon Timber. So this is, again is the 25 and a half inch scale length. It has our new headstock as well. Uh, it has our, you know, these necks are, are a new design for the Grand Cutaway. They're a bit thinner profile and they feel really, really nice to touch. Um, they're a little thinner. You can go thinner with carbon than you can with wood. And that allows you to, you know, you just can't go that thin with wood, so it feels really nice. Uh, this is our black Grand Cutaway Mini. It's really light, really comfortable, stainless steel frets. I think this is going to be a huge hit. But we've already sold a number of these and we're super excited about this one. We got a couple more here. Uh, so this is our concert ukulele. This was the first one that we launched in 2023. It's the smallest instrument that we make. It's super neat. And this is this is our first mandolin prototype that we made. We finished it at 2 a.m. right before driving out to Nam. So this one, this one's the very first one. It's not a completely finished prototype yet, so it's not painted. Um, Very, very loud. Carbon resonates very well. That's one of the one of the reasons that people switch over from wood to carbon. Not not just because it's durable, but it also projects very loud. You know, it's very loud in this room right now, but it kind of cuts through. It's a style, obviously, with F holes. We're extremely excited about the mandolin. People people have been asking us to make one for years now, and, and it finally surpassed 500 people who, who were asking about it, and so we kind of dropped everything and, and started making it. And uh, yeah, this is the first of many. We almost have 200 of these ordered already, and so we'll be starting to deliver them in May. And uh, yeah, we've got just a couple, couple last ones here. This is a uke base, so similar, same body shape as the baritone, but a wider neck. Um, so it'll look like the baritone, but but has you know the bass strings on it. This one's this one's a really fun instrument. When you plug it in, it sounds like an upright bass. It's pretty incredible. This is an example of one of our flame maple top bodies. We're coming out with some really nice electric bodies this year. And you know we know everyone's wondering about the five string and the six string bass. Uh, the, those models will feature similar quality bodies to what you see here, which we're really excited about. We are about two to three months away from having our first five string, six string prototypes. We are working on it actively. We've definitely run into some delays, but as you can tell, it's because we've been busy making every other instrument. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of a walkthrough of the booth. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for listening and checking us out. And check out the website for any questions on any models and email us if you've got questions. Hey everybody, this is me, Mike's with Mike's Gig. I'm in a little closet here. I'm in, actually in a whisper room, whisper room at the NAMM show 2024. And I've got a close KLOS close acoustic. I hope you can see it here. Lighting's not that great. Let's see if I can find a light here. There we go. You can kind of see it. I'll shoot some pictures of it later. Carbon fiber guitar. All carbon fiber except for the, the tuners and the strings I guess. This is their uh, 
grand auditorium shape in their timber finish, which is uh, made to, I don't know if it really looks like wood, but it's an interesting pattern regardless. I didn't even check to see if it's in tune, and it's pretty close. Fairly narrow neck, feels a lot like a like an old ovation neck. Sorry, it's early in the morning. It's uh, Saturday, about nine in the morning. I just spent an hour driving here, another half hour getting in the parking garage. Sounds pretty good. Well, time to move on to the next guitar. See what else we can find. Have a good one.